My wife cheated on me with a co-worker. What should I do? So I'll be married to this woman for eight years. She's 31 and I'm 34. And we've been married for five years. We finally bought our own house in 2021. And we have a seven-year-old son. During the early parts of our relationship, we set up boundaries for each other. I didn't want a controlling girlfriend or potential wife and vice versa. So we could talk about all our problems instead of fighting. As you can see, we had our son very early in our relationship. For three years, she was great. But after we got married, she totally changed and became very controlling. Two years ago, she woke me up saying that she's not very happy and I needed to stop these particular things to make our marriage work. So I stopped going to the gym, stopped hanging out with my friends and quit drinking. I stopped going out completely. She wanted to be my only friend and yes, I did agree as we were trying to build a life together. Six months ago, she wanted to talk to me. She said that she wanted a divorce and I agreed. I told her we should start working on our finances and I reached out to the divorce lawyers to get the process started. A week later, she apologized to me saying that she didn't know what she was thinking and she did want to be with me. Even though I still had my doubts, I forgave her. So now to the present day, she was acting very suspicious, wearing extra nice clothes, new earrings, new makeup, new perfumes, and working later than usual. She started giving me a lot of attitude as if I had done something wrong. I knew that something was up at this point. Coincidentally, I could not find my phone from the night before, so I asked her to call my phone. She said she would do it in a second, but I knew she had two phones, one work phone and one personal phone. So I picked up the work phone to make the call. And then I saw the text on screen saying last night was great. I immediately asked her about it and she denied it to the grave, saying that she had no idea what he was talking about. He's an older guy around 46 to 47 years old, whom I met numerous times at her Christmas parties. He's even married with children. So at this point now, I moved out and she's now mad at me for moving out and she says that she doesn't feel bad about what she did. I'm not sure what I did wrong, but she was keeping me hostage knowing that she was cheating on me. I feel like I've wasted a few years of my life. I do everything in the house. I cook, I clean and wash all the clothes and she doesn't do anything. What should I do? Just before we get on the video, if you can do me just two favors, you can just give us a quick thumbs up right now and also click the subscribe button too so you don't miss any further videos. And let's get on the story. So the first thing that comes to my mind right now is that she genuinely sounds like the worst kind of wife material that you can ever ever imagine in your whole life she is a nightmare i mean the fact that she tried to control him told him to stop seeing his friends told him to stop going out the fact that she's trying to tell him what to do and how to live his life mate he's an independent man if you're not happy with the way that someone lives their life and you want them to change that much to the point where you want to be the only person that they talk to and socialize with you need some serious help and i'm just talking to the woman i think that guy needs some serious help for agreeing to it too to be honest because how could you agree to something like that if my wife turned to me right now and said i want you to have no life i don't want you to see anybody else i basically want you to be a zombie in this house almost like a household domesticated slave and all i want you to do is spend your only hours you've got in your whole world with me i'd be like no it's not gonna happen we don't control each other we are independent people when someone is cheating on their own partner you might find that they might try to become very paranoid or try to become more controlling of the partner that they're currently with there is actually a psychological aspect to this too because what you may find is when someone's actually cheating on someone that they're with they suddenly become more paranoid they suddenly become more controlling because they know that they're cheating and they're scared now that the person that they're with might also cheat. The fact that they know that they're capable of cheating themselves, the likelihood is that their partner could also be capable of the exact same thing. So this is probably the reason why she became extremely controlling with this guy. So this guy now gets her phone to make an innocent call to himself to try and find his own phone. And he comes across this message that said last night was great. Now the fact that she just denied that, it just shows the lack of respect that she has for the current guy that she's with because the fact that he saw that and she's denying it to the grave, there are big, big issues here. He's obviously met this guy, so he's trying to be the nice guy, trying to give her the benefit of the doubt, trying to almost assume that she's not such a bad person and this guy isn't a bad guy either because he's met him in the past but really and truly just because he's met you in the past doesn't mean he owes you anything doesn't mean he's going to be loyal to you doesn't mean that you're his actual friend or anything like that it just literally means that he's seen you in the past moving on my advice is this the best thing that this guy could do is just use his own instincts in the situation because she's obviously denying that she's cheated on him and she's been very controlling he's in a situation now where he can either be completely in denial and just not even believe her but he could just accept the situation and just let her cheat on him which i think is the most deepest move and i don't think you should do that i think he should literally turn around and say hey whether you tell me you've been cheating or not i don't believe you i think you have been cheating that message speaks volumes and i think he should just leave her because at the end of the day you're better off crying for six months on your own versus spending the rest of your life in regret and in denial so i definitely think you should leave this woman so that brings us up to the end of this video make sure you give us a thumbs up leave us a comment down below if you agree with what i'm saying and also do not forget to subscribe to our channel we post every single day and i'll see you in the next video